All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Okay, I want to give all uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shish Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic about, you know, the sons of God and um, basically how. The sons of God, God, are the um, the Israelites. Okay, um, according to uh, Genesis six and one, but I just you know wanted to go through some scriptures, you know, uh, pretty much proving that the the Israelites, okay, before before they um became known to be the sons of God, okay, that they are uh, you know that they was that before they was known to be called the Israelites. They were called the sons of God, okay? And um, once you, as an Israelite, okay, you know that you're an Israelite, okay? You come into the knowledge of who you actually are according to the scriptures. Um, you're basically a son of God. All of the children of Israel, okay, the, the men are, are, are sons of God, period. Okay, y'all, the, the word Israel, okay, uh, in the Hebrew it means Yasha Allah. Which means Yah is he, Sar is a uh, prince, and Allah is power. So he's a prince of power, and you know, uh, the who who are the princes? Who are we princes under? We're you know we're, we're princes under the king, okay? Which is Yahweh by Shemuel Sha. So the the heavenly Father, okay, is our you know in order to to, to be a father, you know you gotta have sons, okay? It's just you know what you know what it is, man. Okay, so uh, you have a you know a crazy doctrine going on that uh, this is Genesis six and one, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all that all of all which they chose. Okay. And a lot of people, you know, they'll go down to uh, Genesis 4 and 6. There were giants in the earth in those days, you know. And they'll uh, sit there and equate that, you know, with um, angels coming down and having sex with, um, you know, with people. Okay, according to what they say the book of Enoch, you know, says. Okay, but I'm going to go in on this topic of the sons of God because people don't understand uh what this uh what this mean man okay um when you go into the word son it says uh uh bond okay uh son grandson child member of a group a son, a male child, grandson, children, male and female, youth, young men, youth of animals. It says sons is characterization, i.e. sons of injustice for unrighteous men or sons of God for angels. Okay, and the word angel just means uh, messenger. Okay, it says people of a nation of lifeless things. A member of a guild, order, or a class. Okay? So, basically, you have the sons of God, which are, before the Israelites were called uh, Israelites, they were called the sons of God. Then you have the sons of the wicked. And then you have the daughters of men. Okay? The sons of men. The sons of God are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The sons of the wicked are the so-called... Um, white people, the Caucasians, which are the Edomites, okay, and the, the 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 sons of men would be like the you know Chinese people, the um, uh, uh, Arabs, and you know so on and so forth, okay. Anybody that isn't an Israelite or uh, or is a, a Edomite, you're basically a son. They're basically sons of men, okay. Now. I'm going to go on to this scripture. 
uh, Romans 8 and 19. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature, right, waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. Okay, and when you go into this, um, this scripture, you know, pretty much everybody on this planet wants to know who, who is uh, telling the truth, who is telling a lie, okay, who's, um, you know, if their beliefs are, are, the, are, the, are real or not. Okay, if they if they live in their whole life is a lot, you know, people wanna wanna you know on this planet they wanna know who where were they telling the you know where were they living a lie or not? Okay, and who who's really the 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 sons of the heavenly Father? Okay, um, and when you go into it, it says you know they're waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, right? So I'm gonna continue continue on um it's romans 8 and 14 according to what the bible says for as many as are led by the spirit of god okay which that's you know when we say baha sem das okay that's the holy spirit it says for as many as led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god okay so the ones who are in the the, the holy spirit Okay, which the only ones that can be in the Holy Spirit are the Israelites. Okay, they are the sons of God. So the Israelites, okay, in this scripture where it says the sons of God, that's talking about the Israelites. Okay. So continuing on. John 1 and 12. But as many as received him. To them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which his name, okay, is Yahweh, okay, which that's the most high, and Yahweh Shah, which were born, right, but not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh. So you got people that, you know, would sit up there and look at the word. And, you know, they don't, they don't even know what that means. You know? Yahweh Shah was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld this glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And when you're going to, you know, the only begotten, y'all people don't understand that. Okay? Was that Yahweh Shah... Is the first spirit that the heavenly father Yahweh made. Okay? And Yahweh Shah is the one who, you know, him and the angels, okay, which the angels are the sons of God, the, the, the Israelites. Okay? The Israelites, the, the elect that are that are here on this earth that that are selling this this uh word, okay, and 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 uh reaching out to the to to, to the Lord's chosen people. Those are the people that have been there with the Lord from the very, very beginning. Okay? In order to understand this word, you got to understand that reincarnation is in the scriptures. Okay? So, so the, 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 the men that are out here that, that are sighing and crying for all the abominations out here on this earth. Okay? Which, I, you know, I'm saying it, so I might as well get it. Okay? Uh, Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4 it's, and the Lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof okay so these men that are out here that, that, that we're reaching okay those men that, that 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 have to get this word, okay, those are the sons of God, okay? Now, you might sit up there and say, well, uh, that, ain't, that ain't the truth. Okay, well, you got to look at this first word, man, this first letter, I mean, this first sentence. It says, and the word was made flesh. So if Yahweh Shah was able to be made flesh and dwell among us, why can't the sons of God, okay, be made flesh and dwell among the uh, the people, man? Okay, 
So continuing on, First John three and one. Um, before I get that one, I'm gonna get this Hebrews twelve and six. For whom the Lord loves, He chasteneth, and scourges every son whom He receive. Okay, so you, when you come into this this truth about who you are, okay, you are gonna catch out. Okay, it says if you endure chastening. God, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, deal with you as with sons. For what son is whom, he whom the father chastened not? Okay, so it says, but if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. Okay. It says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us. And we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? So, so the thing is that the, the, the Heavenly Father, okay, was the He's the Father of the spirits, okay? The the, the spirits that, that that He made, yo, know, oh, what what were there from the beginning, man? The, the you know those of us that you know are listening to this word. Okay, we all was here before, man. Okay, many times. Uh, and there's you know there's multiple scriptures on that. Okay, this is First John three and one. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Okay, so what happened? Okay, is right now you got. Israelites that like to have, you know, when you go into this scripture, it says they saw the son, the daughters of men that they were fair, okay? You have Israelites that like to, you know, deal with women that are outside of Israel, okay? And then, you know, they make them wives and stuff like that, man, okay? Um, therefore, the world knows us not because it knew him not. So the whole world don't know who... Who uh you know the sons of God are, who's telling the truth and you know how you know who is the scripture say you know um who the Lord is manifesting Himself in, the world don't know. It's the only ones that that know are the ones that that you know uh that it was given to. Okay. Um, is the scripture say? Um, the spirit beareth bear witness, man. Okay, this, this he, he eight, Romans eight and sixteen. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Okay, so if you if you if you are spiritual and you know what the 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 the, the truth is, man, then you gonna know. Okay, and what's another word for a child, man? A son. Okay, you gonna know that we are those same people. Okay, today. That was back then, back then, during the time of, uh, you know, Genesis, okay, that was doing these things, okay? Noah was a son of God, okay? Abraham, son of God, okay? Were you going to the, uh, the Genesis, the fifth chapter, when it says Adam... And you know, on down to Seth, on down to Noah. These are the these are the children of uh, God right here, man. Okay, Methuselah. Okay, Enoch. Okay, these are these are the children of God right here, man. Okay, continuing on, it says, "Beloved, now we, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that." When he shall appear, we shall be like him. Okay, when when Yahweh appears and he comes back, we're gonna be like him, man. For he, we shall see him as he is. Okay, and a lot of people ain't gonna be able to see him as he is, man. You know, a lot of people are gonna have to find out, you know, the hard way when they get destroyed. Okay, because they ain't wanna listen to this word. Okay, saying that. Uh, you know, angels are having sex, okay, with uh, people. You know that goes against the scriptures, man. 
Okay, Philippians uh, 2 and 15. It says, um, this is the last scripture I'm going to get. It says that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye sign is lights in the world. Okay? So, so the thing is, man, the Israelites are the sons of God. There is no getting away or, or, or getting around it. Okay? Uh, the ones that, you know, are, uh, you know, led by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Of your how about Shemiah Those are the, those are the, those are the uh, sons of God, man. Okay? They, they, they are God. They, they, you know, Yahweh by Shah, you know, you know, when you're going to it, you know, Yahweh the Most High, Yahweh Shah, okay? They, the, the, the sons of God, the Israelites, okay, are the, the Allahayim, okay? And when you're going to that, Genesis uh, 1, okay? And uh, 26, where it says Allahayim, okay, Allahayim, it says, uh, Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods, okay? So so they are, are gods, okay? And we are able to say that we are gods, okay? You know? And I'm going to get that, you know, and I'm going to close it on that, man, okay? This is uh, Psalms 82 and uh, 6. It says, I have said you are gods and all of you are children of the Most High, Okay? So, so yeah, we are gods, okay? We are, we're the sons of God. We're the, we're the sons of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, okay? It says, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Okay, so we are able to, to say that we are, you know, our God, Okay? So, so once you come into this knowledge, okay, and 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 you find out that you know you're you're an Israelite and you do, it you know as the Bible says, okay, you going if you are the, of the elect, you're going to inherit you know everything, man, and it, you know whatever whatever Yahweh uh uh has, we're going to have, man, because we're going to be joint heirs, man, okay. So with that, man. Hopefully this was uh, edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.